So what is going on everybody my name is Mayhol and welcome to your third angular tutorial and in this tutorial I'm just gonna give an overview of the project layout and structure what angular CLI has done for us so in the last tutorial we installed actually rather set up a very basic app using angular CLI and uh, let's just see basically what this app consists of and how this all is working so starting from the top we see something e to e now this is end to end testing and uh, we're not gonna go a lot deep into it right now because we do not need that then we have the node modules and then we have the source folder which is of our interest now inside app folder you will see that you have your component which is this app component right we're just gonna discuss component in a moment so the CSS file is blank the HTML file is something which we see on the page itself but you can see that right now here we are making use of this expression in angular which is welcome to title and this title might have been defined somewhere right so yeah this is pretty much what we were seeing last time on the screen so this is your HTML file of that component this is the CSS file and then we have some TypeScript files here so if we take a look at this app.component you can see that our title is app the variable which is being used here and uh, then we have defined a component and imported all the necessary stuff so anyways so yeah this is the module file and we're gonna discuss what modules are later on so inside our assets we do not have a lot of stuff inside environment you can see that we have um, environment production and environment uh, .ts files which is just a simple constant which says production false and production true so not a lot of interest for these things right now then finally we have our index.html which is the actual file served to the browser after compilation which has the title hello world app which is the name of our app right and then we have this app root tag which actually is the root of all the application the full application and here all the stuff would be put by angular right so main.ts is the main typescript file which is actually compiled by webpack and uh, angular to actually produce some relevant javascript for the browser then again you can see that we are importing our app module which is this module or component you can say right now from um, our app folder and then we are just making use of that then we have some shims and polyfills here we do not need to worry a lot about them right now it's just for compatibility with all the browsers and all that stuff then we have some styles here as it says you can add global styles here so then we have something this test and uh, all of this karma dot uh, js stuff so we are not gonna touch it right now because it's not a lot useful for us right now it's used for testing and all that stuff so we are not gonna go into that much right now then we have this angular cli dot json which is the angular internal file internal json settings we're not gonna touch these ones as well we're just gonna operate either from command line or we're gonna directly add code to our components and modules and all the stuff then again we have this karma.config.json file a js file then we have our package.json file and you can see that we have a lot of dependencies which angular needs well that's cool and developer dependencies as well so yeah then finally coming down we have our typescript configuration file as usual and uh, what you can do if you're running sublime text only is you can go to uh, package control and write install package here and uh, you can actually install typescript package which would allow you to enable um, syntax highlighting for typescript so you can write typescript here in my case I have already installed it so the package does not appear as typescript name but for your case it would be probably three and one of them would be just typescript so just go ahead and install that and you'll be good to go 
So, yeah. Yeah, well, that's all for this one. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to see how to um, get started with things in Angular. So, that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.